Welcome everybody, I'm G Paul Silverman. I'm back with another Marvel Strike Force video, and it's kind of like a PSA, a public service announcement. Um, important, in my opinion. And a lot of people might have overlooked this or not even thought of doing it, because Blitz does burn you out, but for this event, you want to Blitz, okay? Um, manually. <laughs> At least I do. If you have the time, absolutely. Otherwise, stick with Sim Blitz. But I just want to show you kind of my my thinking on this right now they do have the silver uh medallion for a thousand power course absolutely worth it you get 30 shang chi shards guaranteed and then 20 calling wing and misty knight character shards so it could be a mixed 10 and 10 or it could be 20 i guess of one but that's 50 character shards of right now the best war defense in the game uh for a thousand power course that's amazing amazing offer um so if you got the cores, go ahead and grab. It. I know we just finished the death pool. We're coming up on the end of the death pool event. Uh, and everybody's been spending cores refreshing that. But this is worth it if you got it. If you can get it. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully they'll give us that power core medallion, which will give us about 550 on average for free. And then you can come up with the rest through arena and whatnot. Because this is for 14 days. So save, 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 save maybe if you can. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you that. Um, now for Blitz, the reason I'm saying Blitz is you're going to want to buy this and this every time. That's 600 Fire Essence. And just doing Sim, you'll have more than enough. But I also want to buy this. And if I bought this to help me out, there's a lot of things in here that can help you in other ways. And all you have to do is Blitz manually. I mean, you literally turn off Sim, hit Fight, and then you hit Auto. It's the same as a Sim almost. I mean, it takes a little bit longer and it, it uh, it can be time consuming, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Cause I would buy this probably as well. Had I have, if I had more of these, um, and no part of my saying, do you have to, but I just want to kind of show you, I mean, if you can get these, cause you just have so much of this falling out, uh, your pockets, you absolutely should get them. They're going to help you. Right. Um, so why not maximize it? If you can, uh, how do I go? All right, here we go. Going over here, I was just blitzing, you know, going through my sims and whatnot. And I said, let me go ahead and try this. I want to see if I get more. And not only do you get more, instead of 22, um, you get 36, I believe. See, you get 22 for the sim blitz, which is awesome. Let's say you're doing, I got 35 teams. I'm doing 30, let's say 25 wins. But I should get more than that. Um, this is an event where you're going to want to pick your battles very, very wisely. And, uh, but at that ratio, 22 times 25, it's like right around 500 fire essence for sim. Now, newer players ain't gonna have that many teams, so you need to maximize. Um, so free to play or new to the game, not, you know, not somebody sitting here with 34 teams like I have. Um, you're gonna wanna probably manual it because it's less blitzing because you have less teams and it's dang near double here, I'll turn off Sim, hit battle. And it's for Captain Marvel. So it'd be cool if I get top 10%. It'd get me really close to having her seven starred. And I wouldn't have to farm her node anymore. Um, it's just a thought. Food for thought. I mean, this this could be huge for you. Especially being a newer player in the game. Getting that fire essence and being able to buy stuff from that tab. It would help tremendously. Um, but I know everybody's got real life stuff you know life happens man can't put it all to this right um they used to try to find and they probably still are the fastest most efficient way to get seventy-two thousand. well in this one i'm actually thinking they should be trying to find what's the maximum fire essence i can possibly get from this event because it's it's awesome i mean that the things you can purchase with it are incredible um they can really help an account and now you can you can do the minimum, of course, but like I said, throw it on auto, boom, boom. And it's over. You just got double the fire essence for the load screen's the worst part. If you if you're playing on PC or uh you have amazing internet or something, but 36. So I guess it's not double, but it's 14 extra fire essence. And that's essentially like 60%, right? 63%, something like that. Right around there. Uh it's huge. 
and on 25 times 14 extra fire essence that's like 350 more fire essence on top of the 500 per rotation so that would be essentially eight nine hundred fire essence per rotation which buys me both those g15 pieces and a few other goodies if i want per rotation and i think you can still do eight of these rotations a day i'm pretty sure i've never maxed it so i don't know what it is uh suppose we it's eight but to do eight of them at 900 at 7200 fire essence a day um rough estimate rough roughing it out here um there's a lot you could do with 7200 fire essence considering you only need about five between 5000 and 5500 fire essence to maximize the event and get all the rewards um that's an extra two grand easy a fire essence that you can spend on those elite five stars uh i don't recommend the elite four because for the same price three thousand and these are a thousand um well, i guess it's not the same on your screen let me look here of course go ahead and sim if you're strapped for time just get your 50 5,000 to 5,500 fire essence per day. But the good thing is, is let's say a day you can only get 2,000 or 3,000 fire essence because you did your energy and you just don't have no time to blitz. The next day you can blitz twice as hard or do it manually when you have plenty of time on a weekend and achieve these. So it, they're really making it like you just put in the lowest effort on this and you're there. You know what I mean? It's it's an awesome event, as I've said several times. Uh, plus you're getting blitz credits. And a newer player, Blitz Credits are heavenly. You can just go in here and pop these orbs. Great, great characters starting to come into the orbs. Um, you get too many of these. I only need him, I think a few of her, and then She-Hulk. Yeah. But everything else I got maxed. So the orbs aren't very good for me. I'm better off focus farming, so hitting him and this, you know. That's where I'd be the best off. The only good thing about orbs is you also get gold in them. So, and now that she's in there, I might have to go orbs for my Shadowlands. Uh, Moon Knight should be six red, six yellow after this battle pass in the RTA. But like I was saying, seven over 7,000, right? So you can buy these, boom, boom, few extra things. Every time it refreshes, you can buy them over and over and over, 600 for the pair. And you do that three times a day, every seven or eight hours, something like that. Three times a day, I believe. So that's six times three, 1,800 fire essence. That's getting you nowhere finishing the event. You got to spend the fire essence, right? So I'm thinking 3,000 on this, that ain't terrible. You got to get rid of the fire essence. So you're up to 4,800, and that still leaves you 2,200 fire essence that you can buy these, this. I mean, this event is amazing. Uh, but I just want to show you that option. I'm, I'm sure most people have noticed it, but those that haven't, Oh, watch him for raid content. All right, yeah. They're talking about it in my clan chat here. Sorry, I just noticed that. Um, raid content, yeah, Raid Shadow Legends, not raids in here. All right, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, think seriously about pushing as hard as you can on these blitzes and perhaps doing them manually, going old school, right? Um, It'd be well worth it. It'd be in your best interest. Um, all right. That's all I got for you guys. I just want to get that out there real quick. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you wish um, to help the channel. If not, it's cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Um, we'll see you in the next one. One last thing. Um, I know I already said the video is over. But a tip on how to do Blitz efficiently in this these kinds of events um for newer players is uh you're gonna want to go into blitz and instead of shooting for first place on the points that you're accumulating here those don't matter i want the fire essence right um you're probably gonna get what you get anyway but when you first start out like say you're up here at eight eight point three maybe go through your best teams when it resets and Get as maximum up here as you can because you're going to win anyway, right? And you only want to spend your credits here if you're at your highest level possible. For me, it's 8.3. So I'll spend 25 refreshing on my Black Order because I get the most points for that over and over. And it's pretty much a guaranteed win. And I a lot of times I'll do it with Symbiote. And I'll do it, well, not with them. Where'd they go? Right here. 
And then even using these again later on my other teams, it's only 10 credits for a good chunk of stuff. You know what I mean? It's it's worth it. Um, it's a win. And I get the fire essence and I get raid credits. But after you get down here, let's like say to teams that you don't think are going to win, right? You get down. For me, it'd be right about here. I don't think they're going to win often. And depending on my matchups, all right. So what you want to do is you want to go to your worst team. Clear down here. And you want to start here. And this will drop it back to eight. And then you'll lose with your next team. That'll drop it back to a seven. Then you'll go and you'll lose with your next worst team. Drop it back to a six. As you can see, I've started climbing back up through my last rotation. Because I'm not concerned about these points. I don't care how many of these I get. It could be a million just to get enough for the objectives. With the fire essence, you want to maximize your wins. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially losing with, let's say, my bottom six teams out of 34. And it's dropping me from 8.3 back down to about 4 is the lowest it's been getting before I win no matter what. And then I'll start climbing back up my best teams, winning every time, getting that fire essence. And that's how people are maximizing this. Um, and like I said, that's for newer players or people that don't know, maybe didn't think about it. But that is one of the best ways to do it. Um, otherwise, you're winning, let's say... You're going down your roster, you're at 8.3 and you're winning. You get to right here and you're winning and then you lose. You're down to 8. So you go to the next one, gives you an easier team and you win. You're up to 8.1. Go to the next one, you lose, you're back to 8. So you're going win, lose, win, lose. And if you're only getting half of these, that's 17 wins as opposed to going to your bottom of your roster, falling back to about number tier 4 for me, and then climbing and getting 25, 26, 28 wins. You know, using six bad teams to fall back to four. And again, 26 wins times 22 on sim times 36 manually. Um, food for thought. I'd, I'd recommend doing that. All right. Um, that is truly then. Thanks, guys.